I think this idea of humility is really important in thinking about how to enter conversations that that might be difficult. Um, so I think though, like moving to this place of like, instead of humiliation, humility about challenges or messiness of these conversations is, is one piece of advice I would give. Um, another is to um, provide students and yourself with some structure to guide those discussions, some ground rules. Um, so for some people, it feels right to have um, some classroom guidelines that maybe students co-create with you. I've found it really useful to have students read um, a piece called by Sens Sensoy and D'Angelo around navigating social justice issues and conversations in the classroom. So almost all of my classes start with that piece because the authors give students really tangible tips for how to engage in contentious discussions. And so if I'm finding that students are kind of veering off into this space where, for example, they are conflating their own individual experiences with what it means for a particular group of people to experience the world, I can say, hey, hey, remember Sensoy and D'Angelo's number three on this list? Can we look at that again? And then students can kind of do that for one another as well. So I think having some kind of structured way to guide decision making um, is really helpful. And I guess the third thing is like to admit discomfort. Um, I do this all the time. It's I think it's just part of who I am and maybe that's not comfortable space for, for other folks. But when things feel a little complicated, I often just say, this feels a little messy and uncomfortable right now. Is anyone else feeling that? So why are we feeling that way? And then again, that sort of emotional response can be an entry point for additional conversation as well.